Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team, and today I want to show you how to use our brand new feature, Google Maps Integration. Now this is super simple, so all you're going to do is start a new project, or have a project that you're currently editing. So I'm going to name this one Testing Maps, and we're going to call this just a blank regular old project. And right in this page, we can actually drag over our Maps component. And we're going to see this default placeholder. Now in the editor, this placeholder is never going to change. You're only going to see a change in preview when we actually load your map. Now the first step is on the right hand side, you can see that we have to install the Google Maps add-on first. So what this does is it's actually going to put all the code that Google Maps needs to run inside of your app so that we can actually get that uh, running for you. Now to start out, you're going to need to get a Google Maps API key. Right here, the second link, you just click here. We're going to wait for that to load. And if you're logged in, you should just see a get a key button. And from that get a key button, sometimes Google Maps takes a second to load here. You can do it. All right, so we're going to select or create a project. So I've already created this Where's Waldo project. I'm just going to click that, click enable the API, and it is going to generate me a my own API key that I can use for this integration. All right, so you can just click this copy button, go back over here, give us this key, add Google Maps to your project, and now we're already set to use our Google Maps component. So right now, you can ignore all of this if you'd like, just click off of this and exit, and now you can see that we've got our Google Map already set up for the Madison Capital, zoom level of 12, default map type, and if we preview, that map just works right off the bat. So if you come back here and let's say you wanted to change this to something like Milwaukee, Wisconsin with a zoom level of a little bit further out. Let's go down to eight and we don't want to show a marker anymore or the default UI or make a draggable. We can just preview that. And now we're in Milwaukee. Now another cool thing you can do is if you go over to your page and turn off padding and go back into the maps component and make this 100% height as well, you can actually get some really cool effects like full width, full height maps to take up your entire app. Now, that's the first way to do it. This is the easy maps component way. You can also add a code based example that gives you full control over the entire map. So if you want to add, for instance, functionality that maybe isn't available in our properties, or you want like uh, a list of markers backed by your own API, you might have to do that via code. So if we open up our code bar here and go back to add ons and back to Google Maps, Here's where we kind of tell you the different things that we installed to make Google Maps possible. And we also let you add a code-based example. So if I just click this button, it's going to add that code-based example for me. Okay, And you can see we added a Maps example page with an HTML component. Now, as you can see, this HTML component is not taking up any space right now. And that's because the way Maps works is we have to have an ng-if on a, your location that you give the map before it can actually be rendered. So here it shows nothing. If I preview, we are actually going to show you that location. Now there's also a maps example in our code editor down here, and this is the code that you're gonna use and modify to change the contents of this map. So overall, two ways to use our new Google Maps component. You can use it the easy way with the component, or you can jump in to all the code and edit this stuff yourself. So I know this has been a highly requested feature, and I hope you guys really enjoy Google Maps. I'll catch you next time.